Hi, this is Murtovic. I'm from Hyderabad, India. I'm part of the Elsewhere in India project with Avinash. I'm the music director for the project. Hi, I'm Avinash. I'm a visual jockey and designer. Elsewhere in India is essentially an audiovisual electronica performance. Uh, it came from the pandemic, sitting together and thinking about the future of the earth and future of India. And uh, it's basically a story that's set in the year 2079 and it follows the central protagonist who's a cyborg by the name Meenakshi and it also features uh, av digital avatars of both Murthy and me. We're the sidekicks for this cyborg and uh, the three of us in this story in the future are essentially trying to piece together fragments of Indian heritage that are left behind and trying to relive and recreate uh, some of the magic of that heritage in the future. I think the audiences can um, see a humble effort is to bring together various cultural practices and art forms of uh, uh, Indian origin and also of Southeastern origin, basically South Asian origin, uh, so that we can piece them together and uh, present it to the uh, future generations and the current generations because uh, if not uh, uh, dying, they are surely diminishing and it's a, a good way to contemporize and introduce older practices and uh, uh, introduce the richness of it and in a very playful manner with music and visuals and other things. And our background is essentially in the Indian electronic dance music scene. So we've been doing that for about a couple of decades. Um, but over the years, we also realized that there's a lot of uh, power of electronic music that's unfortunately sometimes only limited to nightclubs and music festivals. So a big part of this project is to see how we can connect that world which we are coming from and this world, for example, of a museum, of education, of heritage. And uh, so a big part of this is how do you take electronic music to new audiences and also, I guess, create a certain sense of responsibility in some sense towards the world, towards society through that, uh, through that work, which often electronic music is kind of looked at as the other way. So it kind of like changed that perception, I guess. And even though we're older, so to speak, you know, we're <laughs> veterans, but we both, I think, have a, quite a childish uh, enthusiasm and uh, energy, which uh, I think is the most important thing, finally. So the audiences have been really receptive, welcoming uh, to the performance. We debuted our uh, performance at the uh, famous Magnetic Fields Festival in India. This is our first gig ever inside a museum, inside such an amazing, amazing gallery. gallery. And uh, one of the ideas that we have right now after coming here and speaking to the museum staff as well, is to see if we can work with the Pacific Cultures Gallery and try to include some of this material into the show as it develops. Uh, as well as work with other museums in Australia. So museums are a big part of what we do. The Fringe Festival in general has been on our radar and it's always attracted me from far away because of what I've heard about it, which is that there's a lot of acceptance for alternative cultures, uh, there's a lot of like warm welcome for whoever you are, whatever you do, from wherever you are. Uh, but we're hoping we can come back next year with a bigger and better show. Because mm -hmm. the show that you just saw, it's this is like the most minimal version of it. So the idea ideally would be to have the dancers, the musicians, and then us in just enabling that collaboration and hopefully next year. Thank you.